In this video, we'll be converting improper fractions to mixed numbers. And remember, an improper fraction is when the numerator is bigger than the denominator, and a mixed number is when we have a whole number with a fraction. So hello guys and welcome to another video with Mathematics with Marlene. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Now let's get started. So our first improper fraction is 13 over 4 and we need to convert it to a mixed number. So the first step we're going to take is we're going to see how many times we can take 4 out of 13. Because let's look at this. What does 4 out of 4 mean? When we have a shape, let's say a rectangle, and we divide it into 4 equal pieces. And we color in 4 of those 4 pieces. That means we color it in one whole shape. So if you take 4 out, that means we took out one whole number. So let's see how many times we can take 4 out of 13. So I'm going to quickly do this separately by using long division. If you're not sure how to do that yet, I have another video. I'll link it in the cards above. So we have our long division bar, our dividend and our divisor. Now let's see how many times we can take 4 out of 13. So first, how many times can 4 go into 1? 4 cannot go into 1. So how many times can 4 go into 13? 4 can go 3 times into 13. Now we multiply 3 times 4 is 12. Remember our next step is subtract. 13 minus 12 is 1. So what is our answer? Now we can take 4 out of 13 3 whole times. So our whole number is going to be 3. And what's left over? What is our remainder? 1 out of 4 will be left over. So 13 over 4 converted to a mixed number is 3 and 1 over 4. Let's look at another example. Here we have 32 over 7. Again, I'm going to do the division separately. So how many times can 7 go into 32? So how many times can 7 go into 3? 7 cannot go into 3. So how many times can 7 go into 32? 7 can go 4 times into 32. Now we multiply. 4 times 7 is 28. Now we subtract. 32 minus 28 is 4. So now we can write down our mixed number. So how many whole 7s can you get out of 32? 4. So our whole number is 4. And what is our remainder? It is 4. So 4 out of 7 is left over. Let's look at one more example. 25 over 2. So let's see how many times we can take 2 out of 25. So how many times can 2 go into 2? 2 can go 1 time into 2. And 1 times 2 is 2. We subtract and 2 minus 2 is 0. Now we bring the next digit down, the 5. And now we ask ourselves again, how many times can 2 go into 5? And 2 can go 2 times into 5. And 2 times 2 is 4. Now we subtract 5 minus 4 is 1. So now we can write down our mixed number. So how many times can you take 2 out of 25? 12 whole times. And what's left over? What's the remainder? The 1. So 1 over 2 is left over. And just like in all my other videos, there's a worksheet with a memo in the description box below. You can just go and click on the link and download the worksheet and memo. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.